Wycliffe Barrett here, x -Plane Dedicated. This is a quick follow-up video to the Perfect PC video that I did. NVIDIA settings. Um, we need to understand a couple of things about NVIDIA settings and flight simulation settings. There's a curious thing that takes place that if you use NVIDIA control panel and alter things in here, and then also use the settings within X-Plane, which you would do, you can actually get the two of them fighting each other. Now, this was true in the other simulation that uh, we all used for many years uh, also. So what you need to do in NVIDIA Control Panel, if you have X-Plane, is set things slightly differently, which was true for the other simulation also. So basically, what you have to do within NVIDIA Control Panel is allow the 3D application to do everything, okay? Now, there's two ways of doing this, and as you can see, we've got uh, we've got NVIDIA Control Panel open here, and at the moment, it's saying uh, Manage 3D Settings is highlighted, okay? This is where we want to be, but I just want to show you something else. Um, if you go to Adjust Image Settings with the Preview, you get this, okay? And some of you will have seen this, some of you will not, because not everybody looks at it. And quite simply, it's got a number of things here. It's got let the 3D application decide on the best settings, use the advanced 3D image settings, or use my preference, my preference emphasizing quality, okay? <clears throat> at the moment, you can see uh, it's used the advanced 3D image settings is ticked. And that's what these are here. Manage 3D settings. So we need to come onto this screen, okay? Now, there are two settings. There's two tabs here. You've got global settings and program settings. Now, NVIDIA, uh, as they go along, they create settings for different applications or different games if you will and there is a whole list of them here in program settings there is one for x-plane i don't particularly like it so uh, i tend to set everything myself using global settings okay so we're just going to go through this i'm i'm going to go it th through it as slowly as possible but without taking too much time if you understand me now sometimes this will look different what you see here will be different depending on your graphics card, okay? My graphics card is a GTX 980. It's not the TI, it's just the plain GTX 980, okay? So it's a Galax Gamer uh, GTX 980 graphics card, all right? It's, it's NVIDIA. So, <clears throat> here we go. Ambient occlusion set to performance. Anisotropic filtering application controls. Anti-aliasing FXAA on, and I talked about FXAA in the previous video. Anti-aliasing gamma correction on, anti-aliasing mode application controlled. Okay, anti-aliasing setting application controlled, but that's greyed out. So I can't quite remember why that's greyed out. Whether I think it's inactive on this graphics card because um, the applications would, you can set it within the applications. Anti aliasing transparency, I've got it multi sample. CUDA GPUs, all. Now, DSR factors, this is strange. I, I'm not quite sure what this does. And I've always had it set at 1 times 20x, which is the native resolution, okay? So leave that at that. DSR smoothness, 33%. You can change that. You can put it right up to whatever you want. I, I've just set it at 33%, and I don't really see any difference. <clears throat> Maximum pre-rendered frames. Use the 3D application setting. Multi-frame sampled AA. Turn it on, although it's not really necessary. A multi display mixed GPU acceleration. You want that at multiple display performance mode if you've got more than one monitor. If, you, if you've only got one monitor, then you don't need that on. But if you've got more than one monitor running off your graphics card, you need to have that on, which I have. 
uh, power management mode adaptive shader cache on texture filtering anisotropic sample optimization on texture filtering negative lod bios allow filtering quality quality texture filtering trilinear optimization on th now this one threaded optimization causes a number of issues for a number of people if you have it on turn it off threaded optimization off okay trilinear optimization uh, sorry texture filtering quality set to quality threaded optimization off that's the one i was on about triple buffering off vertical sync used to 3d application setting okay and then virtual reality pre-rendered frames put to one now and with those settings i have found no issues whatsoever there's no conflicts between these settings and the settings within uh, x plane so that's what i use you can if you wish mess around with it but i found this to be the best kind of uh, managed setting um and there's a couple of people, other people, other friends on x -Plane, and we, we tend to use these settings in NVIDIA. You don't need to use NVIDIA Inspector in x -Plane. NVIDIA Inspector was specifically designed for the other simulation platform and using NVIDIA graphics cards with the other simulation platform. NVIDIA Inspector also, all it did was open up some areas of the settings for graphics cards that weren't available on some of the earlier graphics cards before the 900 and even before the 800 series. So if you're using NVIDIA Inspector, for those of you who may have the other platform on your PC, if you're using NVIDIA Inspector and you've got a GTX 980, you're not getting any benefits at all okay or any or any graphics card above the 800 series you're not getting any benefits by using nvidia inspector because all of the things that the nvidia inspector did is within the nvidia control panel now nvidia opened up those different areas of the graphics card settings so there you are that's what i use it, it works for me it as always what i say is if it works for you and it looks great for you then that's fine you don't really need to do anything more so very quick very short nvidia settings um there's there was something else that i was going to do but i can't remember so i'll put that aside and i'll create another video maybe a bit later on today right there you go cheerio